In this video, I'm going to cover that how you can create sticky headers using the pin views feature of Lazy VGrid in SwiftUI for iOS 14. The first thing you will note is that we have three different columns or grid items which are all flexible. Next, we have a loop which is going from 1 till 20, where 20 is not included, and it is creating all these rectangles. In order to create a section header, we will have to run another loop on top of this loop because the section header will have the section and then some items inside the section. So let's go ahead and run our loop, which is the topmost loop. I'm going to go ahead and run from 1 till 10 because 11 is not included. And I'm going to wrap the inner loop inside that. In index in. So basically this is the outer loop and this is the inner loop. Let's go ahead and see if we can format it out a little bit nicely. There we go. So for this outer loop, we are going to create a particular section. Now this section currently is just going to say section and we're going to go ahead and make sure that it says some sort of a number of the section. So we can simply print out index. And you can see on the right hand side now it's saying section 1 and if I go ahead and run this then you will note that we can go from section to section but sections are not, you can see that sections are not sticky. They don't stick, they just move along. So the question is how can we make sure that the section is always displayed on the top. Let's go ahead and first configure our lazy V grid. I'm just going to add a little bit of spacing. Let's say 10 is fine. And the other option I'm going to use is something called a pinned views, meaning which views you want to be sticky and section headers or section footers. We're more interested in headers. I'm just going to put in headers. Now, another idea or a good idea would be to create your section header, not over here, but outside. So let's see how we can do that. So let me remove this section header and I will say section and for the header we will go ahead and say header view. Now header view is a function that we are going to be implementing later but the body of the section we will simply wrap the inner part inside the section. So let's go ahead and do that. So what exactly is this header view? Well header view is nothing more than a simple function. So let's go ahead and create a function and we'll call it header view. It is going to take in some sort of an index, which is the section ID in this case. And it is going to return some sort of a view. Now this can return anything that you want. Um, so I can go ahead and start returning section and simply printing out the actual ID of the section, which is the index. We will go ahead and add a little bit of padding to it. We will also add a bit of foreground color to it. So color dot white is fine. And we can go ahead and make the font a little bit bigger by saying title. We can go ahead and also set the frame to be maximum width, which can be infinity. And we can also say background color if you want. You can choose any background color that you want. We're just going to use blue. Let's go ahead and run it again. This time, we will be seeing that we are actually using a section. And there we go. We got our first section. Now let's go ahead and run this. And you will note that now this time the section is actually sticky. So if we go to a different section, it takes over or it takes its place. And hence, this is a sticky section. Now the reason that you see over here on the background is we don't really have a navigation bar. So let's go ahead and add a navigation view. So I can go over here and wrap everything in navigation view. And that will make sure that everything is inside the navigation bar. And if you want, you can also add some sort of a title to the navigation. We're going to use navigation title. And I'm just going to say over here, uh, pinned views or anything else that you want to say. Let's go ahead and run this again. 
and looks much nicer. You can see our pin sections are working out just fine. So this is how you will create sticky headers in Swift UI for iOS 14. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a course called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is a 17 plus hour course and it covers everything you can imagine about Swift UI. I'm constantly updating the course also. So you can see that we start with building list and navigation and we even take a deep dive into MVVM design pattern, APIs consuming, and also core data. I also go down into uh, the recipes where I talk about building a rating view, and I'm also covering Swift 2.0. We have already have all of these amazing lectures and I keep on adding more and more and more stuff to it, making it better. Now, the best way to get this course is check out the link in the YouTube description. Simply click on the link and get the course, please, if you want to get this course or any of my other courses, use the link in the YouTube description. That will be very, very helpful. Uh, your support really means a lot to me. Uh, I do want to do this like full time. So if you do want to support me, please use the links to, to get these videos, buy the courses. They are not that expensive. Uh, I've worked hundreds and hundreds of hours on those courses and you're getting it for a very, very, very big discount. So please use the links in the YouTube description. Thank you so much and thank you so much again for supporting my videos.